hi guys um i hope you can hear me properly i've tried to set up my camera so that you can see me and hear me and see what i'm doing as well um so fingers crossed that you can hear me um so this video is the next um music challenge for the music and listening blog um it's based around creating your own composition um, which sounds quite complicated, but it's it's really not at all and it's quite fun to do as well um, So a composition is Basically putting together some musical ideas and fixing them by recording them or um, Setting them um, you'll see what I mean as we go along um, it's It's kind of a bit similar to improvising is where you just put some ideas together and chop and change them round you basically make it up on the spot but if you're making a composition it means you're recording your ideas in some in some way okay so I'm going to show you how to practically record your ideas um, and use this to create your own simple composition and then I will show you what that looks like written down um, in a simple way so like I said, it's quite fun to do. I think you can have, um, I think you'll enjoy doing this one. Um, so I have um, got some bits and bobs from around my house that I'm gonna use and you can do the same. So for my grid, my practical grid, I've just got some dinner plates from my cupboard, some side plates. Um, if your grown-ups don't want you to use plates, <laughs> then you can use cushions or you can create a written grid kind of on the floor if you were to get ribbon or string or tape you could make four little boxes or circles um, you could just have four spaces and separate them with a, a piece of spaghetti or string or a straw it, literally anything will do you could fold up four towels and have four spaces um, whatever, whatever you like so um, these are my four um, plates that represent four beats okay so for this you'll need to keep the pulse the same so the pulse is the steady heartbeat throughout um, a piece of music or song um, so there's four here so the um, the beat will literally be one two three four one two three four and that is what each of these plates represents one of those beats okay so what we're going to do is we're going to fill these spaces fill these plates with some musical sounds or rather items that represent musical sounds and then we're just going to play them so for example um, and by the way when you do this you can it, to try and it doesn't really matter if you if you um, if the tempo changes by mistake because I know sometimes we do have a tendency to speed up when we're trying to keep the beat of something um, you could get a grown-up to count one two three four for you or you can just have a go say it alongside yourself just what there's no right or wrong just have a go um, so I have got some um, I've been having a little search around my house and I've ended up with loads of things that Lila plays with um, because that's what I have the most of in my house at the moment. I'm overrun with Lila's toys. So these are um, little green lids that we keep from Lila's custard pots that she eats because she likes stacking them and posting them. So I have loads of these. So these will do just nicely. Um, I'm going to use these to represent a clap. So that's going to be the first sound that I'm going to put into my composition, okay? So all I'm going to do is put one of these on each plate, okay? So now my composition is four claps in a, a, um, four beats. So it will literally go one, two, three, four. Okay, now if you want to just keep your plates or cushions or whatever you're using and play the composition you've made and then change it and then play and change and just do it like that, that's fine. But I'm also going to show you what it will look like written down. Okay, now if you'll see this and think that doesn't look like a piece of music because it, it won't, it's just a way of recording your composition. Okay, 
So if I just show you my whiteboard. So all I have done here is I have drawn a grid, just a bar. I've split it in half and in half on each side again so that I've got four um, boxes there and they represent my four plates. Um, I'm going to choose a symbol that will um, represent the clap on my plates so I'm going to have a cross so I'm just going to whoo, scoot over here so that you can see the board a bit more clearly um so I'm going to have four claps so a cross is a clap and that is a written representation of that composition there okay so exactly the same that would be clap, 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 clap in the beat of one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's my first composition there. Now, there's so much that you can do just with one item or one sound. So we don't even need to think about layering any more sounds over the top just yet. Um, we can just play around with the one sounds of one item. So I could take off two and this will now um, be rest, clap, rest, clap. One, two, three, four. And you can repeat it and play it as many times as you want, just in that steady beat. Um, if you were to write this on your grid, you would just leave your box um, clear for that so um, if I quickly draw one for you no that's a bit wobbly there don't worry though so that would be rest clap rest clap so that's a written version of my um, composition here my musical ideas okay so that's another way of doing it you could have two and um, at the beginning one at the end you can literally change it as many times as you want you can really play around with it so this one would be one two four you can if it helps you like if you notice I'm sort of doing that with my hands just to make um, me remind myself that that's an empty um, an empty beat there's no there's no sound in that beat it's a rest okay um, you could have just one two three four would be that one there's honestly there's so much you could do with it we could be here all day um, another thing you can do is you could put two of one sound in um, one beat so what that would look like um, this would have two claps in the one beat so it, it's like a double um, double tempo double speed I don't know what the I can't remember what it's called it's been my brain my school brain has gone um but it would go like this it would go one two three four one two three four so for every one beat there's two claps in there okay um you could put a double one um on your third beat so it would be one two three four one you could have some rests in as well so this would now be one two three four there's so much you can do like I said with just one sound if you wanted to record written record something with um, two beats uh, sorry two claps in the one beat then your grid of four just pop round um so again a bar half and half again um you would just have one two um oh there's a rest there so 
three, four, and that's what that would look like. Um, what you can do if you feel confident enough, if you're ready to sort of move it forward a little bit, is add in another sound. So you can choose whatever sounds you want. If you have any um, like items at home that you could use as percussion instruments, like bowls and spoons, um, I have made, I didn't know I was gonna be showing you these, so I hope you find them. Um, Lila and I have made some bottles, some sensory bottles. So these are just little plastic bottles, one's got buttons in and one's got rice in, so that could you could use that as a, a sound, so um, an item could represent a sound like that, you could get a, like I said a spoon or just stick to um, body percussion using your body um, to make sounds. So I have got um, some toy balls of Lila's that she plays with. So um, these are going to represent a click for me. Um, if you can't click, like I said, there are so many different sounds you can make. You can tap, um, you can do sounds of your mouth, like um, there's just, there's loads, there's loads you can do. You don't need me to tell you about that. Um, so you can introduce a second sound. So still the clap, with the lids and then if I was to put a ball on the plate as well on the second and fourth beat now this composition would go one two three four one two three four okay so a lid a ball a lid a ball a clap a click a clap a click and on your grid written Um, you would just choose another symbol to represent the second sound. So I will have a circle for um, the click because it looks like the toy ball anyway. Um, so I've got clap, click, clap, click. If it's too confusing for you to remember what the symbols mean, just write, write the word, clap, click. That'll still work. That can, it's still writing down your ideas. Um, you can be as creative as you want with it. You can try and challenge yourself as much. You can do double beats, rests, um, all sorts. So this one would be, um, I feel like I'm challenging myself here. I'm, I'm definitely gonna get one of these wrong, so just bear with me. So this one would be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You could put a rest in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like I said, you could go to town with it. If you really, really, really want to challenge yourself, you could get a different item and do more sounds. I probably wouldn't go above two or three until you feel really confident following your, your um, composition with what you've put on there um, if you wanted to you could um, have more plates you can have a, up to a grid of 16 if you once you've got the hang of it here you can do a grid of um, 16 this is what I actually did with year three on the last week um, before we finished so the children did a four by four grid And they filled it um, with different sounds and just played it right through. Um, they might repeat some or they might not. Um, they might have it different all the way through. A few of them went really like, really changed themselves and filled the whole thing and then it was really hard to follow. So just build it up slowly. Um, you could have two separate um, compositions and have one person in your family play alongside you. Um, you could do, it, the, I'm thinking upper key stage two here, but if you were to compose um, a grid, like a four by four grid, so 16 beats, um, and play that, you could have um, 
one um, little grid of four, four beats, played repetitively right the way through, that's called an ostinato. I think if I've remembered right, that is called an ostinato. Um, so you could be playing one composition and um, one of your um, grown-ups or a sibling could be playing something else alongside. So um, if this was a shaker and this was a click and you're doing something else with your composition with different sounds, I would just be all the way through your 16 beats. I'd be going um, one, two, three, four. Okay, um, so I feel like that is quite a lot of information to be dealing with for now, but that is your listening challenge today, is to have a go at composing your own musical ideas practically, because I think it's, like I said, quite fun to do, and also it's a bit easier than going straight to written down, and then you can either leave it there, or you can try writing down, or if you feel comfortable, then just move on to the writing it down. Um, but please let me know how you get on in the comments on the blog. I would love, love to hear how you um, how you get on and um, see some pictures even of your practical compositions. And um, there's also a game on Purple Mash that you can do this with as well. So I might put a link to that or tell you what it is in the comments. Okay, so like I said, I hope all that makes sense. If not, you've just had 15 minutes of me talking nonsense, but hey-ho. All right, thank you. Bye.